What's up, YouTube, Ham Nation, and my Facebook compadres? What we have here is a Cloud Core 1016. This is a pretty nice. It's 16, 16 cores, 1.2 gigahertz per core. But this is this is what I want to show you right here. Uh, this is supposed to be a, a, a professional or carry, gr carrier grade router. Um, it's only got a single power supply. I don't, I don't understand this. Let me get something to point with. So if you look, this is the main power supply right here. It's going into the one that Microtech provides. If, uh, this is going through a little diode switch. Uh, general purpose transistor, general purpose diode. If you look, they got the spot on the board here to populate another one. This little diode, switchable diode pack, general purpose transistor, diode. A 68K resistor goes right here, 68K resistor goes here, and then this header. Also, two more duplicated on this side, and this jack is meant to be, uh, or, or can be PoE. I have no really idea why Microtech did not populate that. But uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I have I have most of these components. Only thing I'm missing is a 10k surface mount resistor right here, and I'm just gonna use a regular um, metal film uh, axial and uh, bend that over. I'm gonna go ahead and populate all these components on this board, and uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll, we'll run a quick test on it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little DC whip. And then just penetrate out the back here so whenever we can start using these at the towers, um, it can run off of the AC power supply or it can run off of our 24 volts DC that we have at all of the uh, tower sites. Alright, let us uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut on over to the finished work instead of showing you. This is some tedious stuff to do, so uh, we'll just cut to the finished product. Alright, so we're back. I'm going to go ahead and power this up. Um... One thing I found out was that, unlike all the other Microtech routers, this guy only likes 24 volts, which is no problem. I was just using a uh, power pack from a uh, 1100 AHX2 that was damaged, and uh, it just won't power up with that. Uh, I can sit there and put an adapter in there, but I got to put some alligator clips on there to power it up. And well, I, I, it's really kind of hard to do that and hold the camera for the video. So what I'll just do is just move it from uh, connector to connector to show you both connectors are working. So uh, that's a shot of all the all the parts and pieces populated on the board and. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this connector off here. And we're going to plug it in there. And it's going to power back up. So, let me, let me grab the magnifying glass. And we'll put you under the magnifying glass and show you what the work looks like. So. this at the same time so uh, grab a pointer here again so what I have populated is this chip right here the transistor the diode two resistors and then uh, this guy right here the little capacitors next to it I had that this was supposed to be a surface mount capacitor I didn't have one like I said in the in, Earlier in the video, I just went ahead and populated that with a, a through hole component and soldered his legs down on the board. So, there it is. That is a Microtech. Let's see if I can get that to focus. That is a Microtech CCR 1016 with dual power option. So, it's late. It's uh, probably one something in the morning right now. I uh, I didn't have the stuff to make the penetration right here. And, and we're going to put this into the tower tomorrow. 
So uh, I'll just grab those components and go ahead and put those in in the morning. All right, this is K5 MOB, Samuel Rock, and uh, this router belongs to Gulf Coast Broadband. Everybody have a good night or a good day. Give it a thumbs up and hit the like button.